It's going to make all that pouring champagne and throwing money. It's going to make that look clownery. If you're rapping about the club still and pop, celebrate, you, you're a clown. You know, we got Barack in there. Now we got to work harder as people to show how I, it just ain't one motherfucker who could excel. <laughs> the situation with Atlantic Records was pretty much, um, we, we were going in two different directions. You know what I'm saying? We had we both had two different outlooks on my project and what I, what I wanted to be known as, not even known as, but they, every artist they put you through a, mo a whole marketing phase. You know what I'm saying? When you sign to them labels and they spending all that money, they want to know how they gonna get their money back. So they go, okay, what's his gimmick? Like, what's what's his image? You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody got their little gimmick, and I'm like, I don't got no gimmick. Like, I'm, I, I preach the truth. You know what I'm saying? To the kids running around in the hood, make. You know, trying to be gangbangers and wilding to these kids that's throwing their life away. I'm here to talk to them because, you know, I'm seeing the influence that this music has on the kids. So I'm like, yo, I gotta t if I could use rap to talk to these kids, let me, let me try that. And I'm like, yo, put the money behind this. I'm trying to teach these kids to put guns down and don't and go to school and don't be gangsters and, and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I lived that life. I, I got caught up listening to rap, getting caught up. Thinking, you know, get not just rap, but just imagery. You know what I'm saying? Getting caught up in imagery and not having you know, the best parenting at the time. To, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of us had. We don't. We, we grow up a lot of time in broken households. You know, single parent households or whatever. And you know, unfortunately, rappers, you know, rappers are raising kids, man. If you look now, you look at the fashion trend. All these little young kids is running around with tight skin, tight pants on, yo. Because Lil Wayne wears tight pants. So all the kids is wearing... I mean, we did it too. I remember when dudes was wearing MC Hammer pants. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when we was young, because Hammer was that dude. We was young. We was kids. You know, Hammer was that dude. I didn't wear them shits, but I know a lot of dudes who was wearing them. It's just like now with Lil Wayne. So if, if rappers have this much power, and you see the influence that they have, why not tell them something true and real? You know what I'm saying? To, to the kids. I don't know. I just think of... Maybe it's an American thing. I don't know. Yo. I, want, I don't know up until Barack Obama where this country was headed. Like, what are we, just thugs of the world who just wild out and go to war for, for money? Like, uh, is it really a democracy? Is everybody really striving to be something? Or is it just greedy people who lie through us through the media and just keeping their foot down on us? Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's deeper than rap music, man. Rap, rap. rap. I'm, I'm embarrassed what hip hop had turned out to be. And what it's become because once it became so corporate and all about money it became a joke it's almost like a coonery it's sad it's sad what it be what it's become you know like you ever see a, a person that just started smoking crack and like after <laughs> like after the night in like the late 90s like you know what crack does you've seen the crack era you've seen what it did to people you've seen why would you start smoking crack that at that late that's how I feel about these new kids that's coming up like, I'm a rapper. Like, come on, man. You got to think of something else to do now. Like, that whole rapper thing, that shit is about, it's over.